just a couple of tips on doing a compression check, which should really be a part of your regular maintenance. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is remove the spark plugs, in this particular case, four. But before you do that, you want to make sure that the pockets where the plugs are sitting are really clean. There's a lot of crud that accumulates in there, so you want to use some compressed air to blow all that stuff out. In some cases, you even have to use something like a plastic pick to dislodge these particles, but whatever it is that you do, make sure that the area is completely clean so nothing uh, falls down the spark plug hole. By the way, if you're using compressed air, don't forget your safety goggles. Okay, so once the plugs are out, next thing that you want to worry about is de-energizing your coils. And if it's a Honda, like this one, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is you flip your engine stop switch to off and the coils will be de-energized for the test. Also, to make things a little easier on your battery, you may want to remove your 10 amp headlight fuse and the 15 amp uh, taillight and uh, running light fuses. And so you can see in this particular case, my battery is out of the bike. So I just jumped these leads to the car battery uh, the advantage of doing that is now you have a lot more capacity for doing the test. The key is not to turn on your car. You just want to jump a uh, battery to these leads, positive to positive and uh, negative to negative. Uh, so you get your you know, 13 volts or whatever into the system and uh, you should be good to go. Um, also, in this particular case, you can see that the carbs are out of the bike and sometimes people wonder whether or not it's a good idea to do a compression check cold and there's absolutely no problem with that. I do cold and I got 160 PSI across the board here. Just, uh, you know, I had to make sure that my intakes were obstruction free. So I removed these little plugs when I was running the test to allow the engine to breathe. If the carbs are on the bike, what you want to do is you want to keep your throttle fully open and maybe uh, to make things easier and new, just take a few turns of masking tape and wrap it around the grip and the brake lever so you can keep the throttle open during the entire test. Again, so that the butterflies can be open and the engine can breathe and take in the air that you need to do the test. So uh, when, when you're cranking the engine, uh, usually anywhere between 6 and 10 revolutions should be good enough. Just keep uh, the number the same between each cylinder so you have a good uh, basis for comparison. I would say, so in this particular case, when I did cold, uh, I did 10 cranks for each cylinder and that got me up to uh, full snuff as far as the compression or the pressure inside the cylinder is concerned.